All right, buddy. So what's your name and where you from, man? My name's Shine. I'm from Miami. Shine from Miami. And you, you are uh, a king, correct? Correct. That's what's up, man. Uh, got a lot of people that came onto the show from Florida. And, I mean, the variety of gangs out there is just, there's many. You know, there's many everywhere. But, you know, in Florida, uh, in certain hoods and stuff, and especially in the uh, prison system, I hear a lot about all these different kind of gangs throughout uh, like the JIT camps and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Have you? Did you ever have a time of going through the JIT camps, or did you just see the adult side, or what? I did both. <coughs> I've been Excuse to me. both sides, JIT camp and adult side. Okay. Uh, tell me, I, I, I got to hear about the JIT camps. Every time someone says anything about there, man, I know it's probably some wild shit. Uh, were you doing the whole king and thing on the streets before the jig camp or were you kind of just adapted into that in the uh, system a little bit of both okay uh tell me about it man how was your uh first walk into the jig camps i mean okay as far as the jig camps go you know as soon as you get there they're gonna do something called a toh which is a test of heart you know mm-hmm. and it's just i guess to see how how how, how far you're willing to go as a man to stand up for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I seen some some pretty weird stuff though, as far as them little tohs go, you know. Yeah. I seen, I seen the toughest dudes, supposed to be the toughest dudes, be the softest when they get put under that pressure, you know. Well, you know, uh, well, what 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 uh facilities you go through in the jet camps? All right. Well, me personally, I went through um, you know, you go through South Florida over here in Florida, you know. Since I'm from the South, I go through South Florida and I go through the jet dorm there. From there, I went to Lancaster CI, was a jet camp, and then from there, I went to Lake City CI, was a which is another jet camp. Yeah. They used to have Bavard and Indian River and all that other stuff, but that shit got closed down. Too much violence and shit like that. Okay. Think about the jet camps. There's a bunch of young dudes, and they just want to fight all day. Yeah, you know, fight, uh, fight, fight, and do stupid shit. It's yeah. really annoying, really the jet camps though. But as far as the adult system, is a little more dangerous though compared to a jet camp. Yeah, I hear that, uh, you know, the JIT camps, it, you know, I was in TDH. It's, it's called a Tidewater Detention Home. It's for juvies. And, you know, we just threw fists all the time, you know what I mean? And we might get stabbed with a pencil or some shit that we had right. during uh, the GED classes or high school classes that they had going on. Uh, but there was never really a threat to, A, they might decapitate you, you know what I mean? And that's right. usually what it, you will see in the adult side might not be too much throwing fists as to getting shanked up where you right, lose right. your life. You know, like in the jig camps, see, it's really an adult prison system, but yeah. it's for anybody 25 and under. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got people there serving a lot of time, but they just can't be around adults at the time, you know? So it's stabbing and stuff like that, but not as much as adult system. It's more like cutting in the face going on over there, you know? Yeah. I've heard plenty about the old buck 50s i guess buck you could 50s, call them yeah. yeah uh well well when you walked in i hear when you walk in you are pretty much ran up on by numerous or just uh certain groups just figure out what you're doing who you rocking with where where are you from stuff like that uh what happened with your situation man you walk into this this jit camp you said you went to lancaster first correct correct i heard some pretty uh pretty crazy stories out in lancaster man uh did you have a rough time first going in or what? No, yeah, you know, everybody does. Like I say, you know, you don't really get spared. You know, I had a couple people run into my room trying to see where I was at. I just had to hit a couple people with a lock. Yeah. And got past that part, but I ain't go through it as bad as other people because, you know, I'm affiliated. Yeah. You know and so I have, I had a support group. Okay. You know and uh, with it, when in the system, is that when you got fully adapted into the uh, whole King thing or what? Well, yeah, when in the system is really when I started, like, embracing it all the way through, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a more militant way, you know? Had to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And were they deep in there at the time? It depends what camp you're at, but, yeah, where I was at, yeah, we were pretty deep. Yeah. Uh, And y'all, were there any kind of, like, in the JIT camps or maybe it followed into the adult side? Was there anyone that you would say – Cause I hear a lot that people tie flags and, and stuff like that over there in the jet camps and in Florida and stuff like that was, I'm guessing y'all were probably had maybe had uh, 
affiliations with Bloods, just kind of tying flags, I guess you could say. Yes and no, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if it, for the most part, you know, we were straight with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, we're all different people. We're all different organizations. So yeah. we go through it with each other at the same time, too. So it's yeah. a yes and no, you know? Yeah, I guess it just goes by the situation and the people in there. Right. Uh, right. All right. So what were some of the wildest moments you might have had in uh, these jig camps? I heard Lake City, Lake City wasn't as rough as some of the most. Uh, Lake the City others. was a breeze. Yeah, that's why I've been hearing from quite a bit of people, man. Uh, so tell me. Was there any kind of rough situations that you went through in rank, uh, Lancaster besides a couple run-ins where you got uh, tried to get lined up or whatever? No, nah, that's about it, really. Like, all that was sweet to me, you know what I'm saying? The line yeah. and all that other stuff, that was really nothing. And so the, camp was the, the only thing I really hated about the jet camps was the COs, you know, and they drill oh, yeah. us with this so-called wannabe boot camp type stuff, you know what I'm saying? That was really my issue. Yeah. But as far as that other stuff, it was really nothing. Yeah, is... Uh... The COs, man, I heard they, they could be treacherous, man. Like, like they, they, they really dishrag the inmates, man, physically yeah. and mentally. Yeah, no, yeah, they really do. The, the, they they killing. They killing, for real. Yeah, killing that's crazy. Inmates. I've seen that's them crazy, beat man. people to death. I've seen them break people's jaws, break bones, bloodbath. You know, I've seen them. I was at a prison called DCI. That's an adult prison. They they scorched the man to death in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Wait, I think like I heard about that in the news. Did it make? Yeah, the news? that was on the news. Yeah. I remember news. reading. I made I made a video on that. I actually did a little video on that. And I couldn't believe it. it was an old. I think it was an elderly black dude. Uh, in a mental much, health dorm. Yeah, they pretty much cooked him alive in the shower. Yeah. That's this is really treacherous. What's going on man. in Florida? You know, I don't know what's going on in other states, but Florida is really corrupt. Yeah, I mean, some states are much more treacherous when being locked up than others, you know, uh, right. especially with affiliations and the COs and all that stuff, man. But, uh, well, let me ask you this. If someone were to come into the JIT camps uh, or the adult side, but let's just, let's just talk about, like, the JIT camps for right now before we okay. enter the adult side. Uh, who do you think would be a victim? Someone walking through the gate, paying a picture for me on who – would be a victim and you could be bluntly honest man you know we ain't gonna you know we're not gonna say you're you know you, you might be biased towards another uh uh race or whatever man yeah, who yeah. honestly would be a victim honestly anybody that would be a victim usually in the jig cans it really don't pick no faces but honestly anybody who doesn't stand up for themselves is really victim but as far as like looks they really tend to pick more towards white boys you know what i'm saying yeah or yeah, well, scrawny people you know what i'm saying little dudes. yeah 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 i i call them uh uh the nerds i guess you could say you know the you could tell you could tell a sheep from a wolf pretty typically. much typically you know what i mean for the most part uh do you ever have any run-ins with cats did you ever have any uh, white dudes come in there that were claiming kings Well, yeah, in a sense, yeah, you know, like Italians and yeah. shit like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Italians. and did you see any, like, uh, white bloods, crips, anything like that? Yeah, I've seen white bloods, white crips, white folks. Yeah, see, a lot of people don't, you know, don't really see that eye-to-eye -eye type of thing. Let's say you go to California or something like that. It won't, uh, white blood, it's like that's like... <laughs> They say goodbye as soon as you walk through the freaking doors, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's just that in itself is a huge uh, cultural, I guess, difference from the mm -hmm. east to the west, man. You will see that stuff. Uh, some people, it's still frowned upon even out here in the, in the east coast, you know what I mean? Right, right. Uh, it's just, I guess, just like anything else, it depends on who who's in the area or, you know, who's running what. Uh, but, yeah. So you get into these jit camps, man, and it seems like you most some of the guys I've had on here, man, they tell their jit camp stories and they probably they weren't affiliated, and it sounds like a damn nightmare. You know what I mean? I'm talking yeah. about like lined up by nine, thirteen people, yeah. jaw broke, <laughs> ribs broke, shoulder popped out of place. I mean, stomping on it, your head, jumping off tables on top of your head. 
you know, I've I, I, I seen people get broomsticks stuck in them, like, you know, like. I've heard that before, too, y'all. <laughs> you know, that's like. That's crazy, like man. That. That's the most shocking one. Uh, and the, the, the damn shower scene that you just made me recall, I forgot about. Um, but that was in the adult side. Now, like, uh, see, in, in the place, I'm from Virginia, man. Virginia Beach, uh, Hampton Roads area, man. So when the system out here, if you were to do something like that, if they were just to get a cut on them or a broken bone, that's a street charge. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. So they don't do none of that stuff over there. Yeah, I know I have one of my brothers. He's in prison down here, but he's from Virginia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's from Virginia, and he's been to prison in Virginia. So when he came to prison down here, he's like, it's a whole different world. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like it for sure. You know, uh, the adult side. Let's say we're going into the adult side. We're leaving the JIT camps and all that. Uh, did you have to uh, – did you go straight from JIT camps to, to, to the adult compounds, or did you get out and then go to adult compounds? How'd that work? I, I went from a JIT camp straight to an adult com compound. Okay, and – was there, did you have to flip your whole mentality, your whole composure a little bit, or what? Did you have to get used to the laid back yeah, shit? I, I, yeah, I did. I, yeah, I did. I really did. Because when I first came into the dorm, you know, I stood with my back against the wall with all my property by my feet, with my shoes on, you know, posted, me mugging the whole dorm. And then the older dude had to come up to me. He's like, You just came from a jet camp? I said, Yeah, why? What's up? <laughs> and he's like, Nah, bro, it ain't that type of party. Dude. You know what I'm saying? You can relax, put your shit down. Ain't nobody going to try you. You feel me? Ain't no lining up going on. Oh, you were, oh, you were damn. Uh, what's the word? You were, you were like uh, state struck a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, ready to pop off on someone. That, that's crazy, man. You know, you wouldn't. I mean, no one spoke about that in jit camps. Like, look, man, this is it's wild here, but you're about to be going to a laid back zone. You know how you're in county or something. You're like, what's prison like? What's prison like? No one ever explained the difference between the jits and. The, uh, is that see, nobody at the jet camp can explain an adult camp because they never been there. You can't go from an adult camp to a jet camp. Yeah, but you know how word kind of spreads. They might have heard it from some older cat that's been through it. Their family member they didn't know or expect any of that. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some people have been like, yeah, adult camps way better. You know what I'm saying? But you, you as yourself, once you're going through that transit, I guess in your own mind, me personally, you know, I was ready for whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go off the next man's word. I'd yeah. rather keep myself safe first. Yeah. And just uh, be rock to sleep. Yeah, I know. That's right. All right. So, you know how you go into these J camps and you pretty much establish who you're running with. Uh, is it what was it like that in the adult side? Were you like, hey, who where's so and so? Who's so and so? Where are these right, guys? Yeah, at? pretty much. You know, I get to the adult side and I ask where my people at. You yeah. Know, and Holler at them and, you know, get with my peoples and get, you know, clear, um, verified and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and everything's pretty much smooth from then on, huh? Yeah, everything was smooth. As long as you're good and your face is clean, yeah, everything's smooth from then on, you know? Yeah, and it's all about, what, money, huh? Getting that money from then on, it's not too much about the turmoil too much, huh? Right, yeah, it's pretty much get money from there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, certain compounds, like, the one I was at, Charlotte CI, that was a, a gladiator camp, adult prison, though, you know? Yeah. That was, and, that was really a gladiator camp. It okay. tops any other prison I've been at. Well, what do you think you would say uh, made it a gladiator camp? Was it the just maybe rival rivals in there or had the numbers? Or what made it a gladiator camp besides, of course, there's fighting and stuff, but, like, you know what I mean? Is that I say it made it a gladiator camp because really, really, only the like the strong will live there. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen people get off the bus and going to protect the management the same day. It was yeah. just an all out war zone. You know, like you had to be, you had to be really like ready for whatever at all times, all day, right around. You know, strapped. Yeah. It, and what was, what was that for people that were affiliated or just anyone in general? Anyone in general, really, you know what I'm saying? Because even people that weren't affiliated were getting down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were stand up people. If not, they were just, like I said, victims, you know? Yeah. And they, they, they could live there, but they victims, you know? 
Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what level prison was that? That was a level um six prison. Oh, damn. Yeah, we got up to level seven in Florida, but the only oh, reason- damn, I didn't, I didn't level, know that. Yeah, level seven in prison will consider like FSP, Florida yeah. State Prison. And I think that's just because it got that row there, you know? Yeah. But that was a level six prison, Charlotte CI. Charlotte CI. Oh. And what what sent you there? I'm guessing you're you're level boosted or something throughout uh, the system, or is that where they kind of just they, shipped you off? They just shipped me off, and I landed there. I guess it was just based upon the point system or something, perhaps. I'm guessing, you know, classification handles all that where yeah. you go, and I guess I, I don't know how they judge you. You know what I'm saying? But they sent yeah. me through. Okay, and you get to like Charlotte, and you do the whole rundown and all that thing. Uh, I mean, was there any time you got tested where you you had to you had to do, you had to do something you didn't want to do or whatever the case was? Of course, it happened my first month. You know, I I ended up getting me a little something. You know, somebody had like they were gonna take it or whatever. You know, and I had to do what I had to do. So that landed me in confinement for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? But and then from there on out, I just told myself, you know, it's that type of compound where I just gotta be a beast. And that's what I became, you know, and then my face was just, I was good yeah. all through Charlotte. My name was ringing bells. Yeah. You know what and you know, that's, that's what people don't understand, man. You go to some prisons and you ain't going to get no kind of rehabilitation. You ain't going to get help. You're going to turn into a deeper and darker animal than you've ever been in your life, you know? Right. And uh, I think that's one of the main things that, you know, reform needs to happen man because people ain't getting help they're just getting in a deeper darker pit man um they're just worried about their life and worried about making sure they got to take another man's life if they have to you know uh tell me about the damn booty bandits man i'm hearing they're treacherous out in florida oh god (laughs) why man yeah them guys are out of control for real man they be falling in love with dudes i mean like for real and they're like real predators like i don't know um you know what k2 is yeah <laughs> okay they use that they use that to knock people out get them all dummied up and That's you know what I'm crazy saying? So, man the booty bandits are out of control in there you know what i'm saying and that, that me personally when i take a shower you know i i only shower with people that i know personally yeah if i'm so in did one I. Them so places did I. where you know yeah but uh, it's out of control with the with the booty bandits, man, for real. Yeah. How's the showers rolling there, man? Some play, some places dudes get in there ass naked. And some I told people that some establishments I was in, I wore, we wore our boxers, washed our boxers at the same time, and, and that's how we did it. And people were like, man, the hell, nobody wears clothes in the shower. That's some that's some weak shit. But I'm like, huh, well, you don't know what kind of inmates are in there. You exactly. Know what I mean? You know, I shower my boxers on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, uh, especially uh, people like the undercover booty bandits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, undercover um, big time. Right. So me personally, I'm, I'm going to take a shower with my boxes on, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody side glancing at me trying to get a little sneak peek, yeah. you know, and then have a conflict, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, that's, even when I came home, you know, like my first day out, I was still showering my boxes on. <laughs> For real, man. A little stay strong still, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple things I did when I came home as well, man. Uh, from the first time that you walked in there, knowing what you know now, do you think the system is kind of fixing a li- itself a little bit, or do you think it's just the same as it was? Safe, safety wise, safety wise. I think it's getting worse. Worse. Yeah, man, that's not too good for anybody that might be going to the Florida Penitentiary. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think it's getting worse, and the reason I say it's getting worse is because what DOC is doing, you know, they're taking a lot of privileges from people, you know what I'm saying? So if you really have nothing to lose or nothing to look forward to, what else is there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. also like, the, I, I believe like the COs and the wardens and Department of Correction Secretary or whatever, they cause and make hostile environments. So they're really the ones making the hostile. Yeah. You know, um, I could go on hours about that. You know, what I mean, I, I I believe that strongly. Uh, have you ever had anybody roll up on you know you and be like, yo, I just want to be a king, dog. What's up, man? Can can I have your blessings? Is there anything I could do to, you know? 
Of you course, have... you know that happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah, because some people just want protection. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? But the ones you know, you just gotta see what they really about. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, would you say? Would you say that there's ever been a? I guess you could say a toh that went too far. Yeah. 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 About how was it? Was it? Was it real bad, man? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think about that, man? Do you feel as though it was uh, maybe the person up's problem or fault, or is just the dudes doing it that just were being idiots? Sometimes the dudes doing it just stupid. Yeah, they just snapping huh? out, huh? Yeah, trying to show out too hard. Yeah, I bet some of them regret that shit too, huh? They do. Yeah. Uh when it comes to the extortion game, man, I hear that's pretty strong out there as well. Yeah, extortion game is really strong. But me personally and, and my people, we don't won't believe in extortion. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we frown upon that. Oh extorting okay. people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I'm not into it, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like people being extorted because it's like bullying. I don't like bullying. Yeah. I mean, would you say so it's allowed though is it allowed at all even though you say it's frowned upon but if let's say one of your brothers wants to go you know get some shit is it is it allowed nah okay well that's a good that's a good rule i like that that's that's kind of principles you know what i mean uh, i don't like that shit either <laughs> yeah we're not we're not here to oppress people you know? we're more to like stand up for those who stand up for themselves you know and yeah. lift each other up yeah. but we're not trying to oppress nobody yeah um you know you know matter of fact you had somebody on one of your interviews k frog oh yeah i was about to ask you that i was asking that in a few seconds but you know k frog do i oh <laughs> shit boy that's my dog man i ain't met him yet but i love him that's my dog <laughs> yeah man he, he looked like he was me. fun man k frog got me a lot of shit in prison Oh God! Let's hear it, man. I hope you can talk about it a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can talk about it, man. K Frog is just one of those. First of all, I gotta say, man, K Frog is a stand-up white boy. That's I love up, K Frog, man. man, for real. He put on for himself, like by himself. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, love I seen that a lot of. Him. I seen a lot of the videos he made in there, man. That's you what know? got me in a lot of trouble, man. Them videos oh. mostly is on that K-Frog TV shit. Oh, God. K-Frog, <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. me about it, man. How did shit go down, man? You know, like, okay, boom. He 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 was, like, always on some, let's record this, let's record that. <laughs> frog, not right now. Frog, no. Frog this. Frog that. You know, but Frog don't give a fuck. Frog yeah. gonna do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I'm like, whatever. I'm with the shit. That's Frog. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding for Frog. Uh -huh. Me and Frog done had to ride for each other a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Line shit up together. You know, had a couple fights. To, like, you know? Yeah. So that's my dog for real, for real. Uh -huh. So when he went home, next thing you know, I'm going to confinement. And I said, Damn. why? He said, you ever heard of K-Frog TV? Damn. Oh, my God, <laughs> man. You ain't getting no street charges, though, did you? Yeah, no. Oh, they tried to right. train us with that. You know, they, they, they call it, at, um, what's that shit called? Um, has, Some kind of escape, something? Nah, nah, nah. They called um the um the Florida State Police. You know, like they got um oh, damn like, like the state troopers or something. Nah, what's that shit called? Um, what's that shit called? Yeah, like F F F D L E, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, some shit like that. I don't know, but like state police. You know, they called them. And they were questioning, well, do you know K Frog? Did he have um, police bringing in cell phones? I'm like, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Y'all go ahead and get my confinement time, and that's it. But how the hell did you meet this dude, man? How the hell you meet old crazy ass K Frog? See, I met K Frog. Really, I ain't like K Frog at first, you know? Uh, the, the, the way me and K Frog became straight, all right, boom. One day I ended up in this dorm, and I forgot I was talking to one of my brothers, right? Named Moyo. He like, hey, look, this is my dog Frog. He be rapping. He's a white boy. So I looked at him, and I heard K Frog talk for the first time, and he sounds a little hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, oh, so I'm like, oh man, it's one of these wanna be down. You know, he wanna be. You know what I'm saying? He'll wanna yeah. be. You feel me? So I ain't talk yeah. to him. So one day I got into a fight with somebody he was straight with. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I woke some dude. You know what I'm saying? To send me to confinement for battery on an inmate. 
So one day I'm coming out, I'm in handcuffs going to medical, you know, for some like regular checkup shit. And Frog was actually getting released from confinement with no handcuffs on. So I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. And I'm thinking, damn, this motherfucker's going to come over here and try to pop off on me because I popped off on his homeboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we had a little stare off. He nodded and I nodded at him. So I'm already picturing my mind he's going to run at me. I, I'm going to kick him one time. That's all I can do. I'm handcuffed behind my that's back. That's all you can do, yeah. That's it. I, I got one good kick. I got to plan it out to the perfect timing. Yeah. But it didn't come down to that. You know what I'm saying? So then I got out of confinement, ended up in the dorm with him again. I'm like, what's up, bro? You know, I seen him. Like, what's up? He like, what's up? And then I don't know. We just started rocking. Like, we were just rocking. I just became my dog. That's what's up, man. He was rolling around with some big ass damn shanks in that joint too, man. Some yeah. of them videos, man. That was uh, Charlotte. That's where we was at, Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I'd been paranoid as shit. I would never have uploaded shit. I would have been so damn scared. I've been indicted or some crazy stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the laws over here, and that's probably why it's the violence is controlled a little bit more over here, man. You're gonna get street charged behind anything. You know what I mean? I mean, you. I've seen a dude get over ten years for steal for punching someone and stealing their cookies, man. Got strong no. arm, strong arm robbery, bro. In jail, and he was about to go home. Strong arm robbery. Dude press charges. He got beat up. They pull him aside. And some of the first questions they ask, like, let's say there's a, uh, it's one of those super, super COs or deputies working. They'll ask you straight up, you want to press charges? And they'll take you to magistrate right then if you want to press charges on the dude, man. Yeah. And you get you get caught with a knife or anything like that. Uh, your get, level's going to increase, but you get caught with a phone. You get caught slicing someone. Cutting the skin, breaking the bone, you're getting a street charge, man. And that's how they control it out here. You know what I mean? Down here in Florida, you're getting a street charge if you kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, man. Of course the violence is going to be rampant. You ain't going to really pay the price for real. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just going to go to the hole and that's about it and lose your canteen. I mean, that. Who, who you can when you do time long enough, you could do without that shit. You know, it's about your yeah. reputation from that point on. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh what do you think would be some of the best pieces of advice to someone that is not affiliated going into uh, the adult side of Florida, man? Mind your business. Stay in your own lane. Be a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether you get your ass worked at the end of the day, just be a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody punk you over. And at the same time, don't try to act like a real hard ass because you're going to get tested. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Pretty much, it's a breed. Yeah, oh frog ain't get tested, man. As wild as he was acting in them joints. Yeah, man. Of course he did. That's yeah. why frog always stayed in some shit. Cause frog was just running loose, doing whatever fuck he want to do, and people ain't like frog for that. But frog ain't give a fuck back. Yeah. You feel me? And frog was what? gonna fight. Yeah. What What your brothers think of him, man? He, they were like, "Hey, let's ride. He riding with us, man. Let's screw it." You know what I mean? Yeah. They like fraud. They like fraud for the most part. Yeah. yeah. They just ain't like the fact that he stayed getting me some shit. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. I would. I told. I would be like, man, no, 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 no. You know, I would be like that. Yeah, no, no, nah, man. <laughs> get away from me. Get away from me, old fraud. With that I used to tell him, I'm like, look, bro, we cannot be in the same dorm, bro. We're always in trouble. But nah, that's my dog, man. I got hella love for Frog. I talk to him all the time, still to this day. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And uh, I still follow his Instagram and listen to all his wildness going on out there, man. I can't wait to get out there and meet him, man. Meet meet everyone that I've done had on this show. They all seem like stand up characters, man. You know, y'all been through the mix, but y'all got a a good head on y'all shoulders still. You know what I mean? Even a, a lot of convicts are like that, man. You would think that we'd be severely messed up, right. but uh. It seems like we're more down to earth than the majority of people out here that ain't never seen any time at all. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and I guess that's why, because they never seen no time. So we're more aware to shit than other people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I tell people all the time, man, you know, just put, I think everyone should do at least a week in lockup, a one week in <laughs> a solitary confinement and they will change. They it, some people yeah. won't make it. Yeah, they would go crazy, man. And, and and the ones that don't, they are gonna look at life from a whole new perspective. They will always remember that one funky ass week 
in solitary confinement. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, I'm in Florida. So fucked up. You only shower Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's the only and, time you shower. Yeah. Well, w- tell me. Uh, yeah, tell me a little more about confinement, man. How's the food in there, man? How's the food in Florida? Disgusting. Really? I mean, it's, I, I've heard it's gotten a little better, but it's really nasty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's na- the only good thing about the food is probably Tuesdays, which is chicken day. You know what I'm saying? They give you chicken on the bone. But if you're in confinement, you're not getting that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting no chicken on the bone. And that sucks. Yeah. You know, so you're going to lose a lot of weight in confinement. Yeah, you. I bet people stay buying them chickens up, man. Yeah, I hell bet. Yeah. I bet you. I bet you had a big old, big ass plate of chickens, huh? Yeah, yeah. I used to stay buying everybody's shit. Cause I wouldn't go to the chow hall. I hate walking over there. It's a waste of my time. Yeah, I hate going to chow hall in the winter time. Oh yeah, especially in the winter time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, do you have any kind of uh wild moments that really stick out in your head that was just treacherous that you could probably paint for the audience, man? That you can speak of, at least. You know what I mean? I, I think the most fucked up shit that happened to me, though, is that somebody died in my hands. You know what I'm saying? And then you died in your hands, man? Yeah. Somebody had died in my hands. You knew Charlotte. him, or was it random, or what? Yeah, no, nah, I knew the guy. He was an older dude, you know, but he liked to smoke K2 and shit and overdosed in his room. You know what I'm saying? So when I walked in there, I seen him face down. And I was trying to bring them back, but it was no bringing them back. But other than that, it's just the other shit. The, my wildest moments is just all the fighting and seeing all that bloodshed. Yeah. K2, man. Let's talk about that for a second before we wrap it up. That shit's everywhere in Florida, man. Uh, do you see people doing crazy crash dummy missions for this K2 or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I seen people stoop real low for the K2. That's crazy, man. I tried that shit twice in my life and it was like I was on the brink of death, dog. You know what I mean? Like that was the most treacherous feeling I've ever felt in my life. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. Like I never been to K2 smoker never. You ever tried it before? I hit it one time and that shit was crazy, wasn't it? I I, I ain't really get high like that. I took a small hit because I seen what it's doing to people. Oh, yeah. You pulled a decoy joint. You pulled a decoy pup. Yeah. Let let 99% of it roll out the nose. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I know exactly what you talk about, man. But, yeah, Yeah. the the first time I did it, I was at a house party, man, and I thought it was a real – I told him – I saw a dude with a bowl, and I was like, let me hit that. And he gave it to me. I thought it was weed, man, so I hit it like a weed hit. And it was like back-to-pack people in there man and i thought i i thought i was gonna die man i started praying to god right there in the moment dropped down to the floor people looking at me crazy uh so yeah man that stuff is wild man uh i strongly recommend everyone and anyone to stay far away from that shit man uh, hell yeah man for real that's killing people yeah it, and, it's not and, even spice no more it's really killing people yeah and you know i've had some gangster ass cats on this show and they all and they all say the same damn thing stay far away from it ladies and gentlemen if you get anything from this video, do not mess with K2. I don't you know what I mean. Uh, it might be cheap. It might be cheap and accessible to you, but you know, I had one guy on here that was addicted to it for years, and this guy, I mean, he he looks fried, seriously fried. You know what I mean? And it actually uh, makes you withdraw like opiates. Oh damn! I didn't know that. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen people withdraw like their own heroin or something. That you get yeah. sick from not having it. I don't know what you're spraying that shit with, but yeah, that's just poison. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, what do you think would be the most popular commissary item on the list, man? Or not so much popular, but let, or yeah, just a couple items that might be popular that I probably haven't heard of that probably didn't sell over here in Virginia. I'll say probably the, the ramens, of course, are going to be popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's for yeah. sure. That's over. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we got some chips called the whole shebang. Oh, whoo, whoo. Them shits are so good. Damn, them shits is <laughs> My homeboy good, over boy. here nodding his head because he was in the feds. You know, so I, I guess he knows about that shit too. That I, I can taste the chips right now. Right now I can taste them, man. I can sm- The whole is shebang. It? We got something called Big Ass Chicken Sandwich. 
It's a what big old, it's a big old chicken sandwich. It's hot food. You microwave it. At the okay. Canteen store, you know? So y'all had microwaves down there too. Nah, we didn't have microwaves in the dorms, only in the canteen window. So when you order a hot food item, uh, they microwave it for you and give it to you hot. Oh, okay. Okay, that's all right. They got yeah. It's kind of like uh, we call them fresh favorites. We order it and it, uh, they bring it down like once a month, you know. Hot oh, no, you can a... get them every day. Every I, day? Yeah, anytime they call canteen, you go to the window, you order your hot food, they microwave it for you right there, you get it and you go. They got canteen every day? Well... Depends what compound you at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, what type of shit is going on? But yeah, for the most part, that's nice. Yeah, you that's go nice, to the man. window. It's like a store, like a little corner store. You go like to a little grocery store. store. Yeah, you go over there with your little bag, your list, order your shit. Coffee's real hot too over there, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everybody's buying coffee. Damn right. That was, yeah, that's where that. I. That's where I began my coffee adventures, man. You know, the too. penitentiary. <laughs> I started off with a coffee and a Snickers bar inside the coffee, and then I just went straight, uh, you know, straight black, you know? <laughs> yeah, and me too. I started off with coffee at JIT camp. When I went to Lake City, they ain't had no hot water. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We had to cook shit with cold water. Yeah. And so I used to drink cold coffee. Yeah. Straight John Wayne, black coffee. Yep. And that's hey. how that stuff sometimes i've been letting my coffee when i was in the pan sit overnight and in the morning just so i have it drinking i swear that cold coffee is like drinking cocaine or something man i'm like damn that yeah, shit tastes really. stronger it's stronger yeah, than yeah. Usual, it got that you know? good strong bitter taste like, <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, fuck yeah what do you think what were some of the uh popular things they did in the yard out in florida man was there any kind of sports activities or anything like that uh let's say in the medium or low security uh, what were some of the major things in the yard going on? Always mandatory is working out. Everybody's always working out. Basketball and handball. Three they got weights. It was certain camps do, but not free weights. You know, with the with the little cables and shit. Okay, the cable things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that sounds about normal. We had weights out here, uh, but they they got welded together so that no one could smash anyone with the plates or anything like that. Uh. But yeah, there were some places where it was just just cable cable weights. Yeah, uh, you know, some places don't even got no um, weights. It's just straight pull up and dip bar. Yeah, I'm guessing those are probably like the higher level prisons. Uh, what about visitation, man? How was visitation? Contact? Was it through glass or what? Nah, it's contact. Yeah, contact visitation. Yeah, that's that's about the only good thing. Contact yeah. is those. Do they uh are they monitoring people for the most part like really really on them? Cause I know in a lot of visitations I can kind of get my groove on a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, it depends. You know, some places they're on you like a hawk. Some places, you know, they ain't really stunting your visual. You just hanging out. Hey, you just got damn shot too, did you? Oh yeah, I got shot just recently. God damn, how that? This one was in the foot, right? Yeah. How the hell did shit happen, man? Argument. Gone wrong, shit. Gone. Oh, God. I around, got shot in my foot. But I'm good now. I'm walking. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you know. And I no. guess, you know, like, it, it just, it, it's weird how shit just starts happening like that. You know, shit was going good. I'm making my music. I started rapping. You know what oh, I'm yeah? saying? So, yeah, I started making music and shit. Then I had a video shoot coming up. Got into an argument. I get shot. I still make it to my video shoot now and shoot yeah. the video. But, you know, I'm all wrapped up in my foot and all this other dumb ass Couldn't really get your swing on too good. Right. Yeah. Well, damn, man. I love meeting rappers, man, because you never know where they'll blow up. I could jump in one background of their music videos later on in the future, man. Hey, you know hey, what I mean? Never. Shit, I got a lot of chats. I popped the lid for a little, little music video. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, my shit's on YouTube. You can go check it out. Yeah, man. That's what I'm about to ask you. Uh, what do you got going on, man? Let me Before we wrap it up, let me know what you got going on. Uh, and when you leave, send me all the links so I can pin it in the comment section and... Uh, in the uh, description of the video for anyone to go check out, man. Okay, so what I send you my Instagram name on there too? Yeah, you can send me anything. I'll, I'll I can find your Instagram and YouTube, but if you just tell me the names and whether I'll get all the links and I'll pin it in there for anybody to find out. But okay, just cool. break down a little bit of what you got going on right now, man. Okay, yeah, right now pretty much I'm just working on music. You know, dropping a couple videos. I've already dropped a couple songs. Got more stuff in the making. Just doing the family thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just really trying to stay the fuck out of prison. 
I know that's right. How long you been out, man? About 14 months. Okay, that's a good little stretch. Going yeah. over a year. Uh, that's what's up, man. How much? How much uh, time you got left on papers? No, no. Oh, I've been off papers. Oh, well, shit. You good, dog? <laughs> I'm you know, good. Just, now you just gotta lay the hell low. Stay away from them haters. You know what I mean? That's it. That's it, man. And enjoy time with the family. You know, uh, yeah. stay the hell away from K Frog. <laughs> For real. <laughs> You know, real, sometimes when Frog call me, I don't even want to pick up. I'll be like, man, this motherfucker got something going on. <laughs> yeah, he, he's still doing crazy shit with cell phones. I watched a video on his Instagram. The damn cell phone's floating at the bottom of the look like Crocodile Island. You know what I mean? In oh, the water. Man. I'm like, damn, Frog, he taking that phone everywhere with him still. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's what's up, man. I appreciate you coming on to the show. Keep, keep doing what you're doing out there, man. Uh, you know, just... Just stay the hell out of the penitentiary, man, because that shit ain't doing nothing. But like you know, it's uh, oppressing us, man. You know, That's it's just it. weakening us. That's it. So, you know. Hey, what we say in Florida is that shit for the birds being in cages. Yeah, damn right. It's for the birds, man. Uh, and just remember, man, someone out there is looking up to you, looking up to me, man. Let's set an example and, and try to keep this youth on the streets, man, and make money the right way and, and keep shit going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, bro. I, I salute to you, man. All right, y'all. Already you be, know, you, bro. Yeah, you be easy out there and send me those links, all right? All right, bro. All right, dog. Hey, and if you got anybody else, anybody official, you know, that might want to come on, represent or something, let me Matter know, fact, all right? I got, I got two people for you. That's One what's up. is my baby mom and my wife. Okay. She's in prison, so you okay. could get a little rundown. I on had no one. I had, okay, okay. You know one of the major uh, female YouTubers the number one female YouTubers, prison YouTubers out there is from Florida, you know? Oh, so yeah? She, you know, okay. Maybe well, she can yeah. bob a weave and do a little something, make make some moves on the YouTube world, make some waves, you know? Okay, yeah, because she, you know, she's been a prison twice, yeah. like me, you know? So she could give, from a female side, not too many people know about female side of prison, you know? Yeah, for and sure, And then I got man. my other homeboy, he just got out the feds not too long ago, did 10 years in the feds. Yeah, man, send them my way. They got Instagram, right? Oh, uh, nah, but I'm gonna make a good one. Okay, he's well, still, yeah, still kind of lost on that on um, technology Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, just just holler at me, man. We'll set it up. I'll give you my email, and you can you know guide them along the path. You know what I mean? All right, for sure, for sure, bro. All right, bro. You bees out there, man. Stay safe and stay free. All right. <laughs> <laughs>